Fabius Bile, the Clone Lord, the Primogenitor, the Man Flayer, and the Spider is a Chaos Space Marine Apothecary and a Chaos Lord. Prior to the defeat of the Horus Heresy, he was a Lieutenant Commander and Chief Apothecary of the Emperor's Children Legion. He is now an infamous mad scientist specializing in genetic manipulation and the creation of enhanced warriors. Unlike most of the Emperor's children, Baal does not follow Slanesh. Instead, he devotes himself to science and research into the creation of space marines. Fabius was born on Terra to European nobility. He spent at least part, if not all, of his childhood in a region named Inglustadt, potentially related to the Bavarian city. As a child, he learned the art of flesh crafting from one of his family servants. Among his first experiments was modifying mice to duel each other in elaborate garb, and was inconsolable when they disobeyed his orders and killed one another. Shortly after, he earned the honor of being inducted into the Third Legion. Fabius was the sole member of the original Legion's command structure amongst the 200 survivors of the plight that caused organ degeneration in the Empress children as a result of a Selenite plot. Despite this, he did not seek promotion, being instead dedicated to his work to reverse the disease. He was nicknamed the Spider by other members of the Legion. By the end of the Great Crusade, Fabius had risen to Chief Apothecary of the Empress Children and was known for his reclusive and inquisitive nature. As the heresy and betrayal of the Empress Children loomed, Fabius managed to convince Fulgrim that he could improve upon the Legion's gene seed and finalize their quest for perfection. To this end, Fabius began experimenting on both Empress Children and Blood Angels wounded or slain in the War on Murder. This began Fabius' descent into corruption and madness, as his experiments became ever more extreme. Once the Horus Heresy began and the Imperium became divided, Fabius was held in high esteem by both Horus and Erebus for his skills in genetic research. Omegon was told by Horus to give Fabius the stolen data from the Primark project. However, the data Omegon gave Bile was purposefully flawed, so that the traitors would waste manpower and resources while it would be impossible to gain any benefit from it. Following the drop site massacre, Fabius trolled the ancient coral conclaves on Estevan V, scavenging knowledge left there by the war singers of the Estevan system. Fabius joined several Empress Children commanders such as Lucius and Marius Vairoshan in using extreme torture to exorcise the demon that was inhabiting Fulgrim. At his Primarch's demand, Fabius produced his first clone Primarch, creating a replica of Ferris Manus, which Fulgrim tried to again convert to his cause and killing him after he refused. Fabius created multiple clones of Ferris all refusing Fulgrim before being killed. Fabius proved vital for the Empress children during the heresy, reviving both Eidolon and Lucius at the demand of their Primarch. As the war ground on his experiments became more and more depraved, torturing captive space marines of both allied and enemy legions to give birth to his first generation of Terata. During the end of the heresy, Fabius took part in his legion's attack on Terra, Although neither he or his legion were actually involved in the siege of the imperial palace, instead they attacked the general population. In the legion's unrestrained fervor, millions of Earth's civilians were murdered. Baal used the opportunity to perform horrific experiments on captives. Human victims were rendered down to create special drugs which heightened the legionnaire's feeling of ecstasy. It is possible that Earth served as the first example of Fabius' subsequent atrocious experiments on entire planetary populations. During the Siege of Terra, Fabius had an epiphany. Seeing the uselessness of what the traitor legions were trying to accomplish, he left Terra before the death of Horus, along with a retinue of altered followers. The act incensed Fulgrim, who put a bounty on his head. Baal was meanwhile hunted by the salamanders and narrowly escaped their wrath. 
For all his twisted genius, Paul could not hold back the furious crusade of the loyalists that launched outward from ravaged terror. Retribution finally caught him in the Arden system, where he was supporting the excesses of the renegade lord Tyrell in exchange for fossil material. The Adeptis Astartes launched themselves down upon the corrupted world of Arden 9. Paul's flesh refineries and cloning vats all burned in a single night as the righteous fury of the Salamanders chapter incinerated all evidence of the primogenitor's precious experiments. Pyle brought low a dozen space marines in the battle as his once brothers died agonizing and inventive deaths. Yet he barely escaped the battle. He was forced to flee for his life and his ship was crippled by an imperial gothic class cruiser as he fled for the dubious refuge of the warp. Whether by accident or design, Baal's vessel was slowly drawn into the eye of terror. He drifted there for an age, constantly experimenting on those few acolytes he had left until the hand of some dark god guided his ship into the gravity well of a demon world. Once the planet had been one of the scintillating jewel walls of the Elder Civilization before their own debaucheries saw the civilization torn apart. Now it was a shriveled ruin, a crone world of seething madness that echoed to the screams of souls long dead. To Fabius Pyle, it became home. Pyle took up command of the remaining Empress children and regrouped at Canticle City the fortress of the Empress children on the demon world of Harmony. Baal went about continuing his work from before the heresy, attempting to unravel the secrets of Jean Seed and the Empress science in creating the Primarchs. To that end, Baal continued to clone the Primarchs as he had Ferris Manus earlier. After capturing Horus's body on Malim during the Legion Wars, Baal created a clone of Horus. This confused creature was found by Abaddon and killed by him in the Battle of Harmony. During the battle, it was revealed that Baal had attempted to clone several Primarchs from samples he had gathered over the ages. The result, however, were a collection of adolescent monstrosities and deformed creatures, which were all subsequently wiped out by Abaddon and his forces. Annoyed, Baal stated that Abaddon has set his work back millennia and fled. The other Emperor's children considered Baal's retreat from Canticle City with the remnants of his work as a betrayal. After the fall of Canticle City, Baal found himself pursued by multiple foes, including Chaos Marines, Eldar, the Dark Council, and even Fulgrim himself. He eventually settled on the Crone World of Urum. In the centuries following the heresy, he traveled the galaxy offering his services to various planetary lords or rebel leaders in return for prisoners, the Flesh Tithe or ancient technical Libra. Many of these ambitious overlords came to regret allowing Paul's experimentations on their people as a result of his atrocities became apparent. His creations have also infiltrated many imperial planets helping to hide evidence of his activity and redirect potential enemies. Despite his infamy, Baal still adheres to a twisted version of the old imperial truth, believing that only the foolish and weak seek the comfort of gods and seek in scientific understanding above all else. Baal eventually ended up leading a group of affiliated apothecaries from various legions known as the Consortium based on Urum. Looking for a key to stop the decay of his body and achieve immortality, he was a key participant in the Shattering, the attack by the Empress children on the Elder Craft World Laganath in 764 M34. During the attack, it became apparent that his former acolyte Oleander Cole and a group of Harlequins engineered the events to try and convince Fapius to lead the Empress children once more. However, Fabius refused to become a war leader and instead insisted that his work would continue. Some time later, Baal found himself continually hunted by Celandri Veilwalker and her band of Harlequins. During one such encounter, he was captured by Flavius Alkinex and taken to Harmony to stand before Eidolon. Eidolon informed Fabius that a lost Gene C. tithe of the Empress children had been located in the eastern fringes, 
and requested that Paul bring it back to him and the Phoenix Conclave. Alkinix and his troops were kept at Fabius' side to make sure he did not betray his former comrades once more. While exploring the ruins of his former lab on Harmony, Pyle discovered that one of his infant clones of Fulgrim still lived. Hoping to use the lost gene tithe and Fulgrim to restore the Emperor's children to what they used to be, Pyle departed Harmony. Following Eidolon's coordinates, Pyle and his entourage found themselves at the Necron world of Solomons. On its surface, they were assailed by the Necron legions of Trazen the Infinite. Coming before Trazen, Paul nearly became part of the Necron Lord's collection, but bargained with the Xenos to exchange his life for the Harlequins which stalked him. Trazen agreed, and upon their return to the flagship Vesalius, found that Alkinix had attempted to seize the vessel in his absence. Paul's clone of Fulgrim, now matured, had rallied his gland hounds to resist Alkinix and his Empress children. However, Baal became disturbed by the Gland Hand's dedication to Fulgrim as well as the young clones in subordination. Fearing that Fulgrim was going down the same path of arrogance as before and worried his new men would be ruined by the Primarch, Baal exchanged the clone and Embra's children to Trazen in exchange for the lost gene tithe. Baal came away with enough pure gene seed to produce nearly 18,000 legionnaires. Sometimes after the events of Solomon's, Fabius Pyle sought to further his craft by traveling to Camorra. He managed to enter the dark city by capturing a dark elder warship and forcing his way in. Allowing himself to be captured, the Hemen Kilui were impressed by his bravado and knowledge and agreed to teach him his craft. He studied in the Tower of Flesh under the tutelage of Hexikaias of the Coven of the Thirteen Scars. However, when Pal felt he had learned all that he could from the Dark Eldar, he decided it was time to leave. Somehow he instigated a war between the Cabal of the Slashed Eye and the Cabal of the Stolen Conscience and used the Chaos as a cover to escape Komora, the Coven of the Thirteen Scars swearing vengeance against him. Pal managed to reach an understanding with the Dark Eldar at the Battle of Belial IV in M37. During the Psychic Awakening, Baal stole a precious Death Guard artifact known as the Arcono Contagious. This spurred Typhus and his Blake fleet to pursue the Spider, who was forced to form an alliance with Argento Corian and his Shriven Warband. During the subsequent War of the Spider, Baal was able to manipulate all sides to his own advantage. The Shriven were modified into hordes of Terata, while Corian himself was eventually doomed to become a monstrous golem. During the battle on Peston Prime, Pyle was able to capture a number of Custodes and Sisters of Silence, taking them as test subjects. In the final stage of the war on Disa, Pyle was again able to escape as the Shriven, Death Guard and Custodes destroyed one another. With his research subjects acquired and the Ark Kuno Contagious in hand, Paul returned to Urum to begin his work. While Paul is capable of recreating the Primaris Space Marines of Belisarius Core, he considers them lesser than his new men and instead seeks to create something even greater from the genetic template that was used to create the Primaris design. To that end, Paul was able to use his ship Vesalius to invade the Tsar Quisitor the flagship of Belisarius Core and the mobile laboratory which produced Primaris Space Marines. After disabling the ship with a massive cyber hacking attack, Baal launched a boarding operation with waves of Tirata, mutants, beastmen and other abominations. While Core thought Baal was after the Sang Primus Bottom, the artifact that contains the genetic material of all 20 of the Emperor's Primarchs, he was in truth after Alpha Primus, the original Primaris Space Marine. Pyle was able to overpower Alpha Primus and steal his progenoid glands before fleeing. Due to his original genetic flaw, Pyle's body quickly deteriorates and dies. He has managed to sustain his life over the centuries by creating clones of himself and transferring his own personality and memories into them. The key to Fabius's cloning process is a neural network 
which contains regularly updated copies of his neural pathways. These are then normally downloaded into a mindless clone, but under emergency circumstances could be transferred into any transhuman body. The procedure to do this is simple enough for any of his gland hounds to complete. Fabius was able to develop the technique by copying Elda Infinity Circuit technology. Fabius has died more times than he can count over the millennia, but each time he is able to return in a new body. Though each new Fabius is in effect a new person, they are in essence the same being as they have his exact thoughts, memories, and personality. Despite this apparent immortality, each of Fabius' body is breaking down faster than the last, and he is changing bodies on a regular basis by the 41st millennia. Moreover, should his neural database be destroyed and not rebuilt, Fabius would not be able to be reborn. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, leave a comment for the algorithm, and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more.